All right, dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Tuesday evening here. Hey, sorry, Monday evening here. You know, we have a game Tuesday, so that is all that is in my mind. <laughs> it is a beautiful Monday evening here in Southeast Asia. Welcome to the channel. This is Salon's Blog. I'm welcoming a very special way. It, is a, it was a beautiful hot day today. Yeah, the sun was so hot, the weather was so hot. But thank God we are now in the evening here in Southeast Asia. And I'm welcoming in a very special way, my dear friend. Wherever you are watching from, you are highly welcome. Quickly, transfer news around the globe and with Chelsea. What is happening around our football club, Chelsea? What are the news that are surrounding us today? What is the latest in the transfer market? Well, we are starting with Manchester City. We start with Manchester City. Yes, then we move to other news. Manchester City will wait until the summer to make their move for Bayern Munich star Joshua Kimmich and hope to secure him for around £25 million, according to the Daily Star, Daily Star Sunday. According to the Daily Star Sunday. All right. Ivan Tony netted a hat trick in a 5 1 win over Southampton under 23 this, yesterday. Which club should he go to in this January? He netted a hat trick just yesterday with under 23 side. Which club do you think Ivan Tony should be going to right now? He's scoring goals with under 23. Most of the friendlies they play, Brentford under 23 play, he was involved and he always scored goals. So, well, he's getting himself fit and much shape for the pending transfers. Well, Leo Castell then wasn't included on the Chelsea bench on Saturday because he sustained an injury in training on Friday. It's not serious though, but it was enough to prevent him from being selected. The young man, the young guy that had been part of the, from the um, um, academy, is always on the bench. In case of anything, he comes on. We saw him when he came on against, the, against Crystal Palace. Now, he was supposed to be on a bench our last game, but he was not against Princeton. And we were told he sustained injury at the training ground on Friday. Another setback, another injury from our training ground, my dear friend. From our training ground. Again, on injury, Chelsea have confirmed Sam Kerr has sustained an ACL injury during the warm-up warm weather training camp in Morocco. It's a huge blow, as it presumably means she's out for the rest of the season. ACL injury takes more than three months, so presumably four or five months. She is out for the rest of the season. For the rest of the season. All right. Chelsea, Manchester United, and AC Milan have asked for information on OG, OGC needs defender Jean-Claire Todibo. Todibo, yes, I made mention of him last week. And Chelsea, Manchester United, and AC Milan have all asked information on him. Jean-Claire Todibo is a defender with, with Nice in the French League. But the truth is, Chelsea have no chance of getting him. If he is that good, then he will surely be in Manchester United. If he is that good, then he should be in Manchester United this January or later summer. AC Milan even have a better chance of getting him than Chelsea. Ask me why. The reason being is that being that Serge Ratcliffe is the owner of o uh, Nice, OGC Nice. Serge Ratcliffe is the owner. So he wouldn't like to sell his best defender to a rival club in England when he could easily make the phone call, I want him in Manchester United. Serge Ratcliffe is a, a new, I mean, partly owner, part owner of Manchester United right now, minority stakeholder. So he wouldn't permit Chelsea to get that defender. To no, no. He would have, I mean, with just a phone call, the player will be given to Manchester United. Why then giving it to Chelsea? For, for what? For how much? AC Milan, they would even prefer to sell him to AC Milan than giving it to Chelsea. It's, it's as simple as that, dear friend. It's as simple as that, right? According to a report, Manchester United are interested in Crystal Palace forward Michael Olise. And will offer them around, around one Basaka as part of any deal. They want to use around Wasaka as a, you know, part of the deal to get Michael Olise. But this, I suspect, can only happen in, in the summer. Yes, I suspect can only happen in the summer. Well, a little bit news on Armando Broa. He made a statement when he was being interviewed regarding the goal he scored and his, you know, how he's feeling right now. And this is what he said. 
It is our job. We get paid to score goals. It's what everyone sees as a striker, someone who scores goals. It is difficult because everyone expects you to score every game, but there, but there have been great players who have not done that. <laughs> Dear friend, that is from who? Our own Amando Broa. Quickly, just one second to touch on this. Kelly Mbappe is unimpressed by Real Madrid attempt to push him into signing a pre-contract agreement this month. He wants to explore a range of options, including switch to the Premier League as a free agent. Many people, it's or in the news, some at some places that he already had agreements with Real Madrid, pre-contract agreement. No, he's never done yet. He never made a decision yet. He is still looking at other options available. So take it from me on this platform right okay okay we go to some other news before i let you go some other important news before i let you go quickly 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 if you have not watched the previous episode i gave details of the afcon the teams that qualified the various groups and what to expect in those in in those groups the afcon is coming up in six days time from now in six days time from now and you should know the teams that are involved if your national team is involved let me hear from you in the comment section let me know your national team is involved in the AFCON. Now, before I let you go, finally, in this moment, Ateta on new striker for Arsenal FC. Ateta on new striker for Arsenal FC. According to Fabrizio Romano, Ateta on new striker for Arsenal FC in January. One thing is what we can do. We need to stay behind those players. Gabriel Jesus, injury. Hopefully, it's not anything big. But we had a scan and we couldn't take a risk. We couldn't take a risk. Dear friend, do you think Asna should just splash the cash, 100 million, and get Ivan Tony? Let me hear from you in the comment section. Ivan Tony to Asna. Now that Gabriel Jesus is injured and they had a scan, you know, Ateta is a one interesting man. You see, despite everything, he is a gentleman. I would have expected Arsenal to be on top of the league right now. But it's not so. Why? Partly because of him. Yeah. Partly because of him. Right now, the market is open again. If you want Ivan Tony, go, go ahead. Tell your team. Tell your... Tell... Uh, uh, how do you call him? Edu. Tell Edu you want Ivan Tony. To solve your problem, you, you must have Ivan Tony. Right now, that, that is what Arsenal need. Upon... After all the games they are playing, they are playing, they've been playing, they need that, that the front three is not clicking. Saka this season is playing game like a new, you know, like 16 year under 16 game. With all the salary, almost about close to 300,000 pounds a week salary for Saka, 21, 22 year old young man. Almost 285,000 pounds a week. And you watch Saka play a game, you would think he's, this, of late, you would think he's, uh, he's, he's playing for the under 16. You know, some of these players were so hyped, they've been hyped to, to some extent that right now they are taking it like, oh, uh, they become money swine. I'm sorry to say. Dear friend, let me leave you here. I shall be back with more exclusives on Chelsea. I'm hoping to get updates from our coach. Yes, our press conference. I'm hoping to receive news on, on it. And I shall be back with all those exclusives from the transfer market, including what our coach has to say. See you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.